Throughout the years of philosophy, various attempts have been made to state which conditions that needs to be satisfied in order to claim that someone has propositional knowledge. If one were to analyze Plato's dialogues, Meno and Theaetetus, it seems as though his conditions of propositional knowledge is S knows that P, if and only if, P is true, S believes that P and S is justified in believing that P. But Edmund Gettier showed that these conditions aren't sufficient for propositional knowledge. He gives us the following example. Smith and Jones are applying for the same job. And let's say that Smith has strong evidence for the following conjunctive proposition. A. Jones will get the job and Jones has 10 coins in his pocket. Like I said before, Smith has strong evidence for A. Maybe the boss ensured him that Jones was the man for the job and that he had counted the coins in Jones's pocket. Knowing this, Smith concludes B. The man with 10 coins in his pocket will get the job. But apparently for some reason or another, Smith was the one who got the job and without him knowing it, he himself had 10 coins in his pocket. So all of Plato's requirements for knowledge is met by Smith's proposition B, because it is true that the man with 10 coins in his pocket will get the job, and Smith himself certainly believed it, and like I said, he had strong evidence for the proposition, so he certainly was justified in believing it. But would we call this knowledge? What do you guys think? Is knowledge a justified true belief? Or did Gettier show that it is insufficient? If you want a quick run through on some of the solutions to this problem, then I suggest you watching this video here.